Hey guys, it's Kerry. I'm so excited about the pandas. With their artificial insemination expert not able to travel to Australia, Funi and Wang Wang will seek to make the old fashioned way. Funi will climb up her favourite tree as an indication of her estrus cycle. In her natural habitat, that gets her out of the way of other males. She's in control. If she's not ready, she'll grunt and swipe at the approaching male. When she's ready, she'll descend the tree and mate. The opportunity to mate only happens once a year for 36 hours to try for a cub. On this particular day, I was able to attract Fooney's attention by calling her name and waving to her. Wang Wang, the male, would do a panda twerk as he marks the territory around Funi, spraying his scent. When Funi is ready, she will clamber back down the tree to meet Wang Wang. Lion? Although adult lions have no natural predators, evidence suggests most die violently from attacks by humans or other lions. Lions often inflict serious injuries on members of other prides they encounter in territorial disputes or members of their own pride when fighting at a kill. Crippled lions and cubs may fall victim to hyenas and leopards or be trampled upon by buffalo or elephants. Careless lions may also be maimed by their prey animal so they must be careful. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Courtship may be initiated by either the female or male in a playful manner. The male will follow the female and often rest with her, licking her neck, back or rump, which is unusual behaviour outside of courtship. The male smells the female's urine or back end and will know when she is receptive. Mating continues for a period of approximately three to four days. Either may initiate copulation. Mating occurs over several hours or over the course of a night. Copulations are brief but frequent, lasting a minute or less and may occur as often as three times per hour. Puma, their tracks show four toes on the front foot and four toes on the hind foot. The retractable claws do not show in the prints. They are good climbers and can leap more than six meters up into a tree from a standstill. Giraffe, the interval between births is almost two years. Mothers usually move away from the rest of the herd to have their offspring. They return to the same area where they had previous births. And once the little giraffe is born, it stays with the mother to protect it from predators. Gibbon, they live in the rainforest of Southern Asia. They have strong, hook-shaped hands for grasping branches and extremely long arms and long powerful legs for moving and grasping. Chimpanzee They live together in large groups headed by an alpha male. Chimps like to groom each other by pulling bugs, leaves and dirt out of each other's fur. It is an act of friendship. Females usually give birth to a single infant. The female looks after the baby by letting it cling to her fur. As it gets older, it gets to ride on her back until about the age of two. Chimpanzees like to sleep in trees for safety. Their hands are very much like ours they have four long fingers plus an opposable thumb. Once born, a baby chimpanzee clings to the breast of its mother 
much like a human baby. This is a sea mang. They are found in the mountains of Sumatra and the mountains of the Malay Peninsula. It is the largest of all the gibbons. Their most distinguishing characteristic is the enlarged throat sac that can be as big as a human head. They use it to amplify their loud vocalizations. Grizzly bear? Bears generally live solitary lives but can be found together during the mating season. The biggest bears in the population tend to be the most prolific breeders. Not only are male bears promiscuous, but the females often have more than one mating partner. A male and female bear may spend days courting each other before mating. Initially, a male suitor trails his prospective mate from a distance, smelling her day beds and sniffing her urine to analyse how receptive she is. At first, she may run away, playing hard to get, but in time, she allows him closer and closer. If she is afraid, males are bigger and potentially dangerous, she may charge him or swat him with her paw, especially if it's her first time. White-tailed buck, they are easily recognisable in the summer and fall by their prominent set of antlers which are grown each year and fall off in the winter. The antlers have tines or sharp points. During the mating season, also called the rut, bucks fight over territory by using their antlers in sparring matches. Crocodile with crocodilians, although they appear similar, crocodiles, alligators and the gharial belong to separate biological families. A trait that separates crocodiles from other crocodilians is their much higher levels of aggression. Crocodiles are tropical species that, unlike alligators, are very sensitive to the cold. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.